Hi everybody, I'm Sergio with Mobility Direct and thank you for joining us in today's video. In today's video, we're gonna go over the best mobility scooters rated for 500 pounds. Again, that's a 500 pound weight capacity for all the scooters we're gonna cover in this video. Now, before I get any further, I just wanna mention two things. First, if you want a copy of our free product catalog, which I have here, all you have to do is go to our website, mobilitydirect.com, and click on the green button at the top of every page that says free catalog. Fill out that simple short form and one will be in your mailbox within one to two weeks tops. I also wanna say that since you're already here, all you have to do is subscribe to our YouTube channel to be automatically entered into our giveaway raffle. If you don't already know, we're giving away mobility scooters at least every six months. We're trying to do it even more often. And all you have to do, like I said, is hit the subscribe button. If you're not already on YouTube, just go to YouTube, type in Mobility Direct, and subscribe to the Mobility Direct YouTube channel. That's all it takes. I'm gonna show the last winner of our giveaway on a little clip that we have so you know it's legit and we'll be right back with you. Oh my gosh! I'm so happy for you! Hello! Hello. Hello. It's to to you. This is to you. <laughs> so I'm just we're here with tissue. Gloria and she's got her scooter that we're donating and all she did was subscribe to our YouTube channel about a year ago. <laughs> I said it's a godsend that I got this. It's a miracle, really. I needed it desperately. Well, it's, it's something we're really happy to be able to do, Gloria. Thank and, you. And we really appreciate those kind words. and. It's pretty easy. All you have to do is subscribe. This is what we're doing here every six months. So if you know somebody else that could use one, please tell them about it. All right, so now that you saw the last winner, hopefully you know it's legit and good luck to you if you subscribe and enter the raffle. You could be the next lucky winner. Now, before we get too far, I just want to say, make sure you stay tuned to the very end to see a really funny blooper that we had to uh, go through while filming this video. I do want to mention that we only have two models here in front of us right now, but we're going to go over several different models. It's just that we only have these two models here at the location we're filming in today. The rest of the models are at different locations. So what I have today uh, in front of me, which we're going to start with, is the Pride Mobility Maxima. So the manufacturer is Pride Mobility, that's the brand, and the model is the Maxima. This is available in a four-wheel configuration. We have it in the three-wheel configuration here in the color red. You can get it in the color blue, and it holds 500 pounds. It has a very comfortable captain seat with flip-up armrests. The seat rotates 360 degrees and locks into position so you can get in and out of the chair easily. You have tons of options. The chair does come out. You just have to fold the seat forward and then pick straight up. It is kind of heavy, and it has a slight recline, not a full recline feature does come with a seat belt and in the rear if you look here you can see that there are adjustment points to adjust the height and the width of the armrests and you have your universal one inch hitch receiver for accessories like a rear basket oxygen tank holder etc you do have anti-tip wheels automatic brakes that's the release for the automatic brake a nice led lighting package for the rear and the front now what I like about this scooter and what I think makes it really special, aside from the fact that it can hold 500 pounds, is there's a ton of legroom. So as you can see, my feet here are not being obstructed by wheel wells that you would otherwise see on a four wheel model. So if you can picture a four wheel model, the wheels are further out and there's wheel wells that extend out from this plastic cover and your feet basically have to go on top of that. So imagine if you're someone like me, I'm six foot tall, your feet would be up really high. And it's a little, could be uncomfortable. Now it does have an ad adjustable tilt tiller. So you can bring it closer to you, further away from you. It's a single hand operation unit, meaning all you have to do is either pull back with one hand to go forward or push back to go backwards. You can do the same with your left, but it's inverted. So you could just push forward to go forward or pull back to go back. You have your turn signals, a horn, hazard mode, light switch for the headlights, and then of course a speed control knob to go full speed or all the way down to the lowest setting. It goes about five miles per hour, comes with a mirror, 
battery meter, which is pretty traditional, and a basket that's removable. The charging ports here, and you also have a USB charger to charge your cell phone with, which is pretty nice. A lot of the newer scooters have that built in. One other unique thing about this that I failed to mention is that it has this bumper guard going around the sides and in the front, and that's a pretty unique feature. I haven't really seen any other models, maybe one other model that has that, and it's pretty nice. It'll keep your shroud protected. This is a really heavy scooter, so if you need to transport it, you'll definitely need a heavy-duty vehicle and a heavy-duty lift like a tri-lift or something by Harmar, which if you need a quote or some sort of compatibility, uh, options or some sort of options that would be compatible for your vehicle type, just give our non-commissioned sales experts a call and they'll get you a quote, hassle-free, no commitment necessary. All right, so we just went over the three-wheel version. We're at a different location here. We have the four-wheel version in front of us of the Maxima by Pride Mobility. It's got the same specifications minus uh, just the turning radius on this model is not as good because it has four wheels in the front. And I do want to show you what I was talking about in the last video. So with the wheel wells here being in the front, you may have to put your feet up high. If you're long-legged and you're six foot and above, that may be uncomfortable for you. As you can see, my knees are almost hitting the uh, handlebars here. And I'm about 5'11". So if I, you know, if I have a customer that's about 6'2 or 6'4", I would probably recommend a three-wheel model because getting your feet in, even for me, it's just... You don't have a lot of leg room. You, you definitely feel like you want to put your legs up high. If you have big feet, look, I mean, I wear a size 12 shoe. Sorry for the dirty shoes, but I barely fit in here. So that's one of the cons that I felt is important to mention. If you're going to buy one of these scooters, they're expensive. I want to mention not just the pros, the cons. Uh, again, one of the other cons is that the ground clearance isn't too great. So going on really tall grass is not really ideal with these scooters. They do have powerful motors, big tires, so you can go on well-maintained grass. You can go up inclines. Uh, it's not really the best for inclines. I would recommend the Aptis scooter if you're gonna go on really rugged terrain. This is really meant for flat surfaces, indoors, sidewalks, pavement, and a little bit of hard, compact grass if you need to. Maybe some flat, compact gravel as well. Uh, it does have, like we mentioned in the other video, the single-handed use operation. So you only need one hand to really control it forward and backwards. And we went over all the details in the last video, so I'm going to cut this short a little bit. I just wanted to show you, not only is this color option blue, but it's the four-wheel configuration. You do have several seat options, and you have the... Uh, bumper grail on the, the side here on the four-wheel model as well. Again, this is the Maxima by Pride Mobility, 500 pound capacity, and it makes the list as one of the top recommended scooters with a 500 pound weight capacity. Next, we're gonna transition into another model, which we don't have with us, but we've made some video of in the past. It's called the Pioneer by Merits. Let's go ahead and get started with that one. All right, hello everybody, I'm Sergio with Mobility Direct, and today I just wanted to give you a little demonstration of the Merits Pioneer 10 Mobility Scooter. This is a heavy-duty mobility scooter, it's great for off-road, it's very stable, very comfortable, super safe, and it has a lot of great features about it. I'm going to take you on a little ride, show you what it's like to use it on grass. Uh, it's great for indoors and out. It does have big tires with suspension, and it's pretty affordable too, considering uh, its weight capacity and power. We're going to go ahead and put the specs on the screen here for just a moment. You can feel free to pause and go back at any time to review the specifications before we get started with our test driving. Just like most mobility scooters, it also has anti-tip wheels and an electromagnetic brake lever, which you'll have to disengage if you want to push the scooter manually. It does have a universal one-inch hitch receiver port, which you can use for a cane holder, rear basket, and many other accessories. You can also recline the seat, and it also has height adjustment knobs here for the armrest height, as well as a width adjustment knob to adjust the width of the armrest. You can also tilt the tiller forward and back using this lever right here. So if you wanted to tilt it forward or tilt it back, you just use that lever and the handlebar assembly will tilt forward or back. It has a nice bumper on the front, nice headlight, comes with a basket, turn signals. 
It does have a manual handbrake here, which you can use to assist with the electromagnetic brakes. But again, it does have automatic brakes, which are electromagnetic, so you don't have to worry about braking. This is just to support you if you need to brake a little faster than the electromagnetic brakes do. There's a charging port here, hazard light switch, big old turn signals on it, huge basket, ignition. You've got your speed control knob here. You can go fast if you move it all the way to the right counterclockwise or slow if you go to the turtle or the tortoise rather. Standard battery voltage meter, and you've got a horn, a light switch, and the turn signal switch there. It does have a single-handed use ambidextrous lever system, so you only need one hand to move it forward or backwards. In fact, you can just use one finger. So with that being said, I'm gonna take it on a little ride, and I'm gonna have our famous Dustin from Mobility Scooter Sales YouTube channel. Don't forget to check out his channel too for more exclusive ride along content. But I'm gonna go ahead and just demonstrate what it's like to ride this off road. Dustin? Yeah. Thank you, sir. I'll tell you, it's great off road. All right, so let me go ahead and just do a couple of little turns here. I do have it on the slowest mode, so I'm gonna turn the speed up a little bit and just start to turn around here. As you can see, it's handling pretty well. Even if I go up the incline, I can handle it pretty well. Traversing from flat ground to grass is no problem. Gonna go ahead and turn around here, get on some more grass. It seems to be handling it very, very well. I'm gonna go ahead and do a U-turn around Dustin here so you can get the sign of the front of the building. We're at Merit's Health USA. Great manufacturing partner to work with. They take care of our customers, provide excellent warranty support, and they make really, really great products. I'm surprised at the incline rating, even on grass, it's going up this incline very, very well. So just to give you a little demonstration here, the tiller adjust feature that I was telling you about, now you can see me using it in action here. It's pretty nice. You can also adjust the seat depth. Uh, right now the basket, or I'm sorry, the uh, cane holder's on, so you can't really slide it back too much, but you can actually slide it back and rotate the seat 360 degrees. The Hand armrests do flip up and they are removable completely. You do have an adjustable height on the headrest as well. Just like a car seat, there's a little knob that you push there. We do have a separate video that shows you how to change the batteries which are inside here. And for the most part, that's pretty much gonna do it. Uh, if you wanna learn more about this product, visit our website, mobilitydirect.com. All right, so the next scooter that we're gonna recommend with a 500 pound weight capacity happens to be the coolest looking option, in my opinion. I mean, look at it. It looks like an old school motorcycle. It's got huge shocks on the front, huge tires on the front, even bigger tires on the back. This definitely has the biggest tires out of any scooter that I've seen. It's really fast. It feels really fast. We have a really good overview video of this product that goes deep into all the specs and features. I'm gonna kind of just go over a few of them. Keep in mind, we have videos for all of the products that we're showing here, and they're like real in-depth review videos that go into all the features. What I'm doing here is comparing a lot of the scooters, just kind of letting you know what's out there. But I highly recommend watching the full in-depth review videos for each product. Check the links in the description below. So you can also just go to our YouTube channel and search for the model, which is called the Apis Scooter SE. Again, that's the Apis Scooter SE and it's made by Aficim. If you don't already know, Aficim is the premier manufacturing company for off-road outdoor mobility scooters. They are the only manufacturing company to include a three-year repair contract in addition to the excellent warranty that they include for parts. So that means that within the first three years, if you file a warranty claim, as long as it's an approved warranty claim, the manufacturer is going to dispatch a technician to replace the warranty parts for you. And if you're one of our local customers, we'll be the company to come out to your home or to service you in store. So keep that in mind. It's a huge added benefit at no additional cost. Now, the Apa Scooter SE is not just unique because of the way it looks and the fact that it can hold 500 pounds. It's also going to be one of the most powerful options out there. We have a big grass field here with a steep, steep incline, and I'm gonna show you what that's like riding it on the incline in a second, but I wanna show you that if you're a taller individual, you have a lot of leg space here, just like the other three-wheel model that we just reviewed, the Maxima, 
and the shocks on this thing are super powerful They're, they really help dampen the ride when you're going over rugged terrain you have a really big headlight on the front which is great for riding at night and these handlebars kind of like a motorcycle you feel like you're in a harley it's a very comfortable ride it's got a standard 18 inch wide captain seat here but you can actually get a double wide seat for two people which is 33 inches wide this seat has the flip up armrests and it reclines it has a headrest limited recline uh, you can also slide the seat forward and back and you can rotate it 360 degrees now with the dual wide 33 inch wide seat you cannot rotate it and you cannot slide it forward and back because it's just really wide it's a heavy duty seat so for a 500 pound weight capacity scooter I definitely think this is the coolest option out there. You can see it has these jumbo tires in the back that really help you reach those top speeds. It goes about nine and a half miles per hour, depending on the load, of course. If you're closer to that 500 pound capacity, it's gonna go slower. Um, we are the only dealer in the country to offer not only the three-year service contract, but you can upgrade this to get lithium batteries. And with the lithium batteries, we're not 100% sure we haven't tested this model, but with similar models that have the sim a similar um, battery capacity and travel range, we've seen as high as like 90 miles on a full charge with certain batteries. Now, the lithium batteries are not standard. You would have to upgrade your order. It usually comes with standard sealed lead acid batteries that are pretty heavy. And that's gonna bring me to my next point. Transporting this scooter is gonna be very difficult. There's not a lot of options out there. You're probably gonna need a trailer. That's one of the cons. Um, give our team a call though. We can see if we can find a compatible lift system for you and check the compatibility of your vehicle type, of course, to see what's out there. Uh, one other thing about this scooter, unlike the Maxima, which is considered an FDA class two medical device that has the single handed operation, this actually requires your right hand to be used to give it throttle. There's a little switch on the back to control the forward and reverse motion, but you basically have to use that red lever to control the forward and reverse motion. It does have automatic brakes, just like the Maxima, so as soon as you let go, the brakes are on, and you can't really push this thing. It's locked into position. The brakes are automatically disengaged when you hit throttle, but as soon as you let go of the throttle, the brakes are back on, so you won't roll down a hill uncontrollably, just like all the models that we're going over in this video. So just a few other things about this ride. If you check out the rear, it does have a pretty cool looking design on the back with when, uh, wheel fenders that are like uh, aluminum kind of silver metallic it has the anti-tip wheels in the back because this scooter is pretty fast keep that in mind and you have the option to turn off the uh, automatic brakes here in the rear now we don't all right so we don't have the basket on this model but it does come free with a rear cage style basket and if you get the dual wide 33 inch wide seat it comes with an even bigger basket and now that I have the scooter turned around, I'm already on it. I'm gonna ride it down this hill and back up to show you that this is definitely the best, one of the best options if you have inclines or if you wanna go fast or if you need to be on rugged terrain, it can handle it. It has the suspension and it also has the power to make it up these hills. So I'm gonna go down and come right back up. Now I barely feel the imperfections in this terrain. It's riding real smooth because of that suspension. All right, so before I go up this incline, I am gonna slide the seat forward because it is a very steep incline and I don't want my weight to be all the way in the back. But as you can see, even from a dead standstill, I could take off no problem in the grass because it's got the power. And it has the power to take you up that ridiculously steep incline, which I stopped short a little bit. So it struggled, but it made it. Let's try that again. So I'm gonna get a little speed this time. You gotta, tip, you gotta lean into your turn with the three wheel scooters or else you can tip them. Oh yeah. But it handled it very well. All right, everybody. So the next scooter, you may notice we're in a different location. We're here at the shop in Bonita Springs, one of our other locations. And what we have here is the Afikim Afis Scooter S model. Now this is the three wheel model known as the Afis Scooter S3, and it only has one wheel in the front. Now this is one of our top selling scooters 
for users that are 500 pounds. You can actually upgrade the suspension on this model and get it to hold up to 600 pounds. But this is by far going to be the most off-road capable option out there. It comes with a 1400 watt motor and it has tons of great features. We have a bunch of videos that I highly recommend watching because we're not gonna really go too far in depth about this scooter. I am gonna mention that it can go about 9.5 miles per hour. It has the best incline rating out of all the scooters out there. We have incline test videos, torture test videos, off-road terrain videos. You can go to our YouTube channel and see a full playlist of AFA scooter videos to get really familiar with this product. Um, it, it has, in this model that we have in our showroom, it has the canopy, which is an optional upgrade option. Something else that's pretty awesome about these models is that you can get upgraded tires that are golf tires. They're super wide, and you can go on the beach with these scooters. One of the few scooters that you can actually go on sand with and snow. So ask about the GT tire upgrade. Uh, you can also get a weather canopy, not like this one. It's a actual plexiglass kind of style canopy which i'll throw on the screen and with the s4 you can get rain sides which basically make it a fully enclosed mobility scooter and you can handle really heavy and aggressive rain we have videos with the rain sides and the canopy of these scooters going through a storm and the user stays completely dry it's awesome they they can actually go through puddles they're one of the few scooters that are rated for deep puddles so if water's kicking up into the wheel wells it's not a problem um, it does have flip up armrests with the headrest. It does have a semi recline feature and the seat does rotate 360 degrees. You can also slide the seat forward and back to bring yourself closer or further away from the handlebar. Uh, it does also have the option to tilt the handlebar closer to you or fold it all the way down. Now when you have it folded all the way down and you remove the seat, the seat comes right off. There's no uh, really trick to it. You just lift the lever up for the rotation and pick it straight up. Once you have the seat removed and the handlebar folded forward, you can actually fit this into a van in the back of the core, uh, cargo storage area. Just need a ramp. So that's pretty convenient about it. It's one of the few heavy duty mobility scooters that you can do that with. It does come with two built-in cup holders. And we'll talk about a couple things here. So you've got the cup holder on the right and the left side. And you also have two USB charging ports here. So we've got the ignition on the right, the charging port for the batteries, and two USB charging ports. You have a nice digital dash. Um, to talk about the controls, on the right-hand side, you have a lever for throttle. So it's only right-hand use. Um, and you have a forward and reverse control switch. So this lever is gonna control the motion depending on what mode it's on. Right now it's on reverse, so if I hit the lever, it goes backwards. Hit the lever in forward mode, it goes forward. Right under the half speed and full speed switch, we have a horn. It's not too loud. Digital dash, it does have the option to switch from odometer to time, speed, and then you have the uh, light to light up the background, nice little battery meter. Uh, over here we have the turn signals. So you go left to turn on the left, right to turn on the right, and push in to turn them off. On the left, you also have a horn button, and then the headlight switch, which on the front, it has a really nice headlight, which we're gonna demonstrate for you. LED, kind of like a uh, truck light kit. It's a very uh, high-end lighting package on the front there. And overall, it's just one of our top-selling scooters. It has a lockable front storage where we put the charger so you can lock this up. And it does come with a rear locking storage that attaches to the back here. I'm gonna throw it up on the video so you can see it, but it matches the color of the scooter itself, which is nice. Um, you can also get a several different seat options, I should say. So this is the standard um, seat option. There's an 18, a 20, a 22 inch wide, and you can even get a dual wide seat with this model, which is 33 inches. It fits too comfortably. And again, you can get this in a three-wheel configuration or a four-wheel configuration. I'm gonna transition to the four-wheel model. We've uh, already recorded a video of the four-wheel model. 
Uh, we don't have one with us in person right now, so I'm just gonna transition to one of our former videos that we've made in the past. So you can see the four-wheel model again. The four-wheel model can hold 500 pounds. You can upgrade the suspension and get it to hold up to 600 pounds. I will mention that we are the only dealer in the country allowed to offer lithium battery upgrades with the Aptis scooters. No other dealer is allowed to. This is an ex exclusive option that Mobility Direct offers. offers. So if you wanna get lithium batteries, uh, it won't void your warranty and it will be shipped with a lithium battery package. You can get up to 100 miles per charge with certain lithium batteries, uh, the biggest capacity option. Uh, with the standard batteries, this scooter is going to go around 35 miles, give or take, depending on the load and the terrain, which is still great. I mean, 35 miles is, is a long way. But if you want to lighten up the load, the lithium batteries weigh about half the weight of the standard batteries, and they give you about 30% more charge if you get the equivalent of the lithium compared to the sealed lead acid. Um, you can upgrade the sealed lead acid to a, a bigger capacity. And then, of course, with the lithium, there's several options uh, regarding the capacity. So check them out. They're on our website on the customizable options section. We have plenty of videos, too, where we show you the difference in range with the standard batteries compared to the sealed lead acid. Again, you get about minimum 30 to 40 percent more range when you upgrade to the lithium. One other thing about Apicum scooters that we're offering as an exclusive option, you get a three year service agreement. So the parts warranty is separate, comes with a great parts warranty, but the service agreement is good for three years. So within the first three years, if you have any warranty claims that you need to file, as long as they're approved, the technician costs associated with the, the warranty claim repair are covered. Uh, it's also an in-home service agreement, meaning the technician will be dispatched to your home. All right, everybody, so thank you for watching this video. We went over several different models that can hold 500 pounds or more. Keep in mind that the Apis Scooter S model can be upgraded to hold up to 600 pounds, but for the most part, these are all, other than that model, capable of up to 500 pounds. I hope you've learned something today. Don't forget that if you subscribe, you're automatically entered into that giveaway and you could be the next lucky winner. Just wanna say thank you one more time for being a viewer of our channel and our content. Hopefully you've subscribed so that you can get notified when new videos come out just like this one. Don't forget to check out our playlists. We have repair playlists. We have unboxing and assembly playlists for all the products. Tons of great content. I'm Sergio with Mobility Direct. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, everyone. Before you go, please don't forget to visit our website, mobilitydirect.com, and click on the green button that says Free Catalog to claim your very own free catalog. Just fill out the short form and it should get to you in about a week or two max. I just want to take this time to personally thank each and every one of you for watching this video. We couldn't do it without our subscribers. So if you like our content, please go to YouTube, search for Mobility Direct and subscribe to our channel. You can enable notifications. That way you'll get notified whenever we release new videos. We're constantly making great videos. We have tons of playlists that range from repair videos, unboxing videos, research and development, and much, much more. If you like this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and ask any questions in the comments section below. We love hearing from our audience, whether it's feedback, comments, or suggestions for a new video topic, we love hearing from you. None of this could be done without our loyal audience. We hope to hear from you. Thanks for watching again. Have a great day.